we would also like to know that what was your journey and what was your schedule while you became a player because everybody feels uh, they do not know what triggers a sports player feel. Everybody feels the glamour, the clapping, the uh, waves going on in the stadium or the people just going for the autographs. But what is the rigor so that people don't think that Yuvraj has made six sixes or it's easy for me to hit six sixes. He has got this glamour, he has got uh, so much advertisement, etc. What is your take on that? Uh, what is the schedule normally for any player who has to come, come to an Indian team? How many hours he has to devote? Sir, I think uh, cricket in our country has a lot of passion. It revolves a lot of passion and people are crazy about the game. Uh, in our country, if India wins, you know, people feel that they have won. If India loses, people feel that they have lost. So they take the wins and losses very personally, which is good and the bad side. So, uh, you know, eventually when young kids come to the block and they perform, you know, the media and the people, they make them superstars. But eventually, when they have a, go through a bad patch, you know, media scrutinizes them and makes them villains. That's the part of our culture and that's the part of media and people, certain media and certain people you have to realize. Uh, I think uh, growing up uh, for me was... Uh, I was I was into a lot in skating and um, tennis. I wanted to be a professional tennis player uh, or a, or or a, a champion skater. I was at the age of say ten and eleven, where I was I didn't know what my direction was in life, but I was I was never keen on playing cricket. And uh, I was I remember I was in YPS uh, at the I started to play cricket because my father was, you know, forcing me to play cricket. And I went to YPS school in Mohali. And I remember uh, the cricket coach was not there and I started to play tennis. And he actually came from nowhere and he said to me that, uh, Yuvraj, your father is not going to like this if he sees you playing tennis. So, uh, it was it was disturbing those times. But eventually, when I... When I got the hang of cricket. I think my father knew that I had cricket in me. And then uh, there were times where I was woken up at 6 in the morning. Uh, you know, probably had to go for 6 to 10 miles of running. And then my father would be coach of uh, DAV College Chandigarh where Mr. Bali is also studied and has been a victim of, uh, of his coaching. So... <laughs> So I'm sure he can relate to that, and probably we we would, you know, run a lot, and we would I would have to bat from the from nine o'clock to twelve o'clock, have a two-hour break, then go and sleep in the afternoon, and probably have to come back and again bat, fielding, bowling for the next three hours, and then evening uh, we had a garden in our house which was replaced by a cemented wicket, which my mother was very upset about where I had to uh, play one hour of uh, short bowling, short pitch bowling, which are called bouncers in modern age, with plastic balls, uh, with wet tennis balls, and sometimes wet leather balls. And I was not allowed to wear a helmet till the age of 16. And at the age of 16, when I went to England, uh, when I went on an England tour, I felt the fast bowlers was, were really quick. And I came and... Though I did really well without a helmet, but I came and requested my father that I would I should be allowed to wear a helmet, and so on. Went to play under 19s and then played the under 19 World Cup. Uh, yeah. 